All right, take number two because uh, my camera fell down. All right, so today I'm gonna talk about the Red Wings uh, coaching operation. So they just hired Jay Verde and I think that fills out their slots. So I'm gonna go in order from Lalonde all the way down to the assistant video coach. So Lalonde is the head coach, he's the top dog. Below him is Bob Buchner, Buchner. he is the associate coach. So how the rankings work is uh, not every team has an associate coach, but if you are an associate coach, you are also an assistant coach, but not every assistant coach is an associate coach. So uh, associate coach is pretty much a designation for second in command. Uh, assistant coaches, moving on, Alex Tangay, still he was there last season, and then Jay Barade, the new addition, they would be 3A and 3B. Goaltending coach is Alex Westland, and then the video coach, LJ Scar Scarface. I don't know if it's Scarface or Scarface. Uh, Scarface sounds cooler. And then assistant video coach Jeff Eintraub. All right, on to Bob Buchner. All right, so his nickname is the Boogeyman because of his fearless style of play. In 1,449, uh, or in 630 NHL games, he recorded 1,449 minutes. He was super windy yesterday. Holy shit! He's from Windsor, Ontario. Uh, he is a defenseman that played in the NHL from 95 to 2005. He was drafted by Detroit uh, 32nd overall in 89, but the Red Wings were uh, stacked on the blue line. They had Lidstrom, uh, Larianov, Konstantinov. I think those are all defensemen, so he couldn't crack the lineup. But he played in the NHL from 95 to 05. Um, and in 2005, he became a franchise owner of the Windsor Spitfires, his hometown. And he was a franchise owner slash president slash head slash head coach all the way through like two, 2011. And in 2011, he got an assistant coaching job at Columbus. Uh, and then in 2018, he got another assistant coaching job in Florida. And then in 2019, most recently, he was hired by San Jose to be an assistant coach. And uh, he eventually replaced Pete DeBoer to be the head coach. I think this is the right timeline. Uh, all the way until last year when he got canned because San Jose is trying to go in a new uh, general manager direction. Okay, what are some of his awards? Uh, he won two Memorial Cup Canadian Junior National champ, uh, Champs in 09 and 10th season with the Spitfires. And then he won the Brian Kilpra Coach of the Year Award in 08-09. And to finish him off, he is a husband and father of four. Like, that's what we like to see. All right, the new ISK acquisition, Jay Verde, is one of the two assistant coaches. He is from Chahokia, Illinois. But he grew up in St. Louis. I have no idea where Chahokia is. Uh, he is a forward. He played for Du Bois uh, in two years, for two years, and then he moved on to play uh, for Union College for three years. And in his final year, he was a captain but he suffered a neck injury, so his season, season got cut short. And, and I believe the following year, he actually became an assistant coach at Union College. He didn't get his first coaching, head coaching position until he went to France and uh, coached the Angers for two years in the League of Magnets. I just found that out, actually. IHF was founded in Paris, France, and apparently they have a, a pretty interesting league there. So if you're in get, eating some croissants or uh, baguettes in France, Go check out some hockey um, if you need air conditioning too. I know it's pretty hot over there now. Uh, okay, so he got another head coaching job for the Sioux City Musketeers from 2013 to 2017. Um, and then he was the, uh, the head coach for the Tucson Roadrunners from 2018 to 22. And during that time, he went up to coach as an assistant coach for the Coyotes in 20 to 21. Uh, some of his awards, he is the third winningest in winningest coach in Musketeers history. In 2017, he won the USHL Coach of the Year Award. Uh, as it, at, uh, during his second season as Roadrunners coach, the team was named Division Pacific Division Champions. He is a husband and father of one, so I believe. And now on to the goalie coach. This is the last person I'm gonna talk about. This is an interesting one. I don't know a whole lot about him, but he has played in a shit ton of different countries. Holy guacamole. So he's from Remington, New Jersey. Uh, he's a goalie that went undrafted. He played four years at, at Yale. He played four-ish years in the SHL, E-C-H-L, two-ish years in the AHL, five years in Russia, uh, about a half year in Slovakia and Germany, one-ish year in Croatia, and then he ended his hockey playing career for the China Dragons. 
uh, of the Asian Hockey League. Okay, as far as coaching goes, he coached two years for the German Panthers, I forget which year, and then in Croatia for the Zagrins for half a year. And then most recently, he coached five years for the as a goaltending coach for the Hershey Bears, the Capitals AHL affiliate. So there's a bunch of different teams. This is a world traveled man. Uh, some awards he won. It, uh, he won the help USA win the bronze in 2004 in Croatia for the world's men ice hockey champs. And then in 2000, 2021, he helped Phoenix Copley and Zach, Zachary Foucault win the Harry Hap Holmes Award presented to the goalies on the team that allowed the fewest goals per game. All right, so yeah, there's some new coaching situation there in Detroit. Got a lot of a lot of stuff going on. Um, yeah, that's it for the video. I'm uh, back home in Chicago. Didn't have any paper today, so I ended up writing on a unfolded to-go bag. And uh, yeah, that's it. All right, peace out.